Hello and welcome everyone! Today we are doing a video which was requested by Anne. So shout out to Anne. She loved to comment on one of my videos and I thought that this was a fun idea. Oh, my light going out right as I start this video. But I thought that, that would be a fun thing to do since like she said in the comments, summer's coming up. And I feel like sunglasses are something that can be pretty affordable depending on where you get them. And depending how you treat them, they can last a really long time. So, they're a good investment to make, especially if you're wanting to start dressing vintage or just any certain way. Something that you can easily get your hands on and they can really bring an outfit to the next level. So, let's just get down to it. Um, I have all of my sunglasses right here next to me. Where do I even want to start? I guess I'll just pick a random pair and I'll tell you where I got it. Okay, let's start with my favorite pair of sunglasses, like if I was going to pick one pair. Probably the pair that I wear the most are these and they don't look super shaded right now but that's because in the sunlight they get darker which I think is so cool especially as someone who likes to wear sunglasses inside just because usually lights are kind of overstimulating for me depending on the lights like even filming with this kind of thing in front of me it is a lot and they're great too if you don't have time to do your makeup you can just slap these on these were given to me by the hippie shake I don't know if they still sell this exact same pair because it was a couple years ago. These, I barely wear these because I feel like round, round sunglasses don't really look super great on me and sometimes I feel like they look like costumey, you know? Like Party City version of a hippie. But these are cool. These were sent to me by House of Harlow 1960 something. I can't remember the name of the brand, but it's Nicole Richie's brand. And when they reached out to me, they said that Nicole found my page and loved like my look and style and everything. So I thought that was cool. Y2K girlies eat your heart out. Um, but she sent these along with a jumpsuit over and I thought that was super cool. And they're probably one of the most expensive pair of sunglasses that I own, but I hardly ever wear them because I just don't really like that look on me too well, you know what I'm saying? To keep with the round sunglasses that I feel like don't look good on me, these were actually Andrew's or one of his friends for I think one of their Beatles tribute shows, I think the John guy wore these and then wasn't gonna wear them so I got them. So I think these actually are costume ones. It's hard to get sunglasses on with this hair because it's like gelled in. There's more reason that I don't wear these than the fact that I feel like round sunglasses don't look good on me. Number two, they're small and they squeeze my head. Also not a fan of that. And number three, they're so tinted that everything is super duper blue. I can't function like this, you know? It kind of gives me a headache. Like, let me just... You see what I'm saying? How blue that is? Kind of cool as a lens, but they're also like a crappy quality. Like I said, I think they're literally for a costume. So besides being super dirty, the um, lens is kind of distorted. And that's also probably what is giving me a headache along with the squeezing. Number three, these are really cool. Andrew and I wore these for our engagement photos that we took forever ago. I think we're gonna take some new ones just because I don't look any, well, I, I look the same because it's still me, but my hair and everything has changed since we shot those and I would like some more up-to-date ones or at least like pre-wedding photos. But anyways, I got these off of Amazon. I have a couple sunglasses that I got off of Amazon and as much as I try to stay away from Amazon, um, Number one, you can't find everything you're looking for just out in the wild, you know what I'm saying? Number two, I don't have a lot of money to be sourcing like all vintage stuff all the time. Um, pretty much all my clothes are vintage and you know I try to shop sustainably but I am not rich or wealthy by any means. So, uh, you know, you just got to do your best and I feel like that is all that you can ask for, really, and then just keep what you're buying rather than like doing huge hauls and then getting rid of it after so long. Like, whatever you buy, just use, take care of, that's the most important thing. Um, try to like, you know, make sure that you're buying things that you are going to keep for a long time and not just something that you're going to toss away after 
two uses or something like that, you know? There's nuance, it's not just black and white. And I feel like for a while, I think we're coming out of that like as society we're realizing or as like online people, I don't know if it's so much all society, but like the online discourse around sustainability, um, I feel like has changed and for the better because honestly for a while it was like you shouldn't be shopping at these fast fashion brands and blah 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 and it's your fault if you do this and you're bad and whatever and it's like it's kind of classist honestly i always thought that because not everybody has the money to be shopping sustainably and the whole different thing with like sizes and vintage fashion like there's a lot to it we could have a whole conversation about it but I feel like other people have already had this conversation and the main points that are important for if you are gonna shop from like Amazon or any fast fashion brand, no matter who you are, is just to buy things that you're going to wear, that you're going to take care of, um, rather than just like getting a shit ton of stuff all at once and then using it one or two times and then throwing it away. You just have to be conscious as well. I feel like that the quality with these brands is gonna be worse. So go into it ready to mend things if you can or have somebody who can mend things. Honestly, it's pretty easy to learn how to do some like small mending things unless you can't use your hands or whatever for whatever reason, you know? But most people i feel like could learn how to do little mending tricks that would stop you from just throwing away clothes if it gets like a tiny tear in it you know or like a little stain it's getting long-winded i'm just saying i i mean obviously you don't need my permission but i think it's all just about uh how you shop if you're going to shop from those places and i can't say that i haven't shopped from those places honestly who can this doesn't stay up with my hair like this but these are super duper cool anyways i got these off of amazon but these are cool 60s looking ones as an example of some sunglasses i think i got these off of amazon when i was first getting into like 60s and 70s style but this is an example of something that broke and i plan on fixing it that's why i still have it the little like nose pad things fell off so it's kind of painful to wear but i love these sunglasses this is actually the sunglasses that I modeled my end card on my YouTube videos after. Like, you know how there's the picture of the eyes and the sunglasses and it says Demi Crimson and it pops up and it's like, subscribe, Avonlea House, made the music, here's a new video for you, you know. These are the sunglasses that I modeled that after with that little drawing that I did. Um, and I plan on fixing these because I really, really like these. I used to wear these basically all the time. I love just like a softly tinted sunglass. I feel like there's some kind of color therapy that goes on when using some colored sunglasses. Like I wear my pink ones a lot and it really is like looking at the world with rose tinted glasses. Everything feels more vibrant and alive and happy and the yellow kind of does the same. These are those dark pink sunglasses. These I also got off of Amazon. Um, I think they're the same brand as that other one because they both have this like hole through. Which that would be cool too to like have a chain and hold on to it. But I wear these all the time. They're like my go-to along with these. These are probably my most worn sunglasses. And like I said, it's like looking at the world with rose tinted glasses on, literally. And then I have those ones but in different colors. Not because I bought them but because Alice bought them. I think that she saw these ones and liked them a lot. Um, and liked the tinted color. So she got these and then these blue ones too, but she ended up not liking the way that they looked on her. So she gave them to me, which I'm really grateful for because like I said, I love this shape. Um, and those sunglasses, I wear them all the time. So these are some new ones that I'm wearing. There's the blue too, which is nice. Super duper cool. So I'm guessing she got these off of Amazon as well. Okay, these, I don't know where I got these. Oh wait, I think that we got them at Walmart. Al and I were one time uh, in a Walmart looking at the sunglasses. We were like, dang, there's actually some really cool ones here. And so we both picked out a couple pairs. And I think that these ones I got from there. Now that I'm thinking about it, I think that my sister still has my big yellow ones too. And those were round sunglasses that I did like because they were super oversized. So Freya, if you're watching this, I think you have my sunglasses and I just remembered, so 
I'm getting those back from you. But these are cool, just a little purple, you know, oval kind of a dealio. These are from Love Child Beauty. They came with one of the palettes that we launched. Just some cool like heart sunglasses. I like the gradient. They're really cute. Okay, these, if you remember like back in, I wanna say 2018, I was doing a lot of brand deals with the sunglass company and these were one of the pair. And these are super duper cool. I think these are Chloe, but I love how big they are. Like they're probably, yeah, they're my biggest pair of sunglasses. And Andrew looks great in them as well. Like I love when he wears them, but they have this cool little metal thing that goes up here. Oh, more of these little holes. This has got to be to have like a sunglass holder thing. These, I have no idea where these came from, but little purple kind of rectangles. Oh yeah, this is cool. Honestly, I should wear these more. These I thrifted. Super cool. Love them. They're like super tiny little red sunglasses. Very 90s, very like mod 60s you know kind of a vibe but i like the red it's not too red red it's more of a brownish red so it's not jarring to look through or anything like that because like i said i like a colored lens but i don't want everything to look like that color only i want to still be able to distinguish real colors but i like the tint for sure this is another pair that i got from a sponsorship so some cool ray-bans a little dusty but they're blue oval i love this like bridge right here i think that i got them off of glasses usa was the sponsor that i was getting my glasses from these these i got oh my gosh it's kind of a long story but uh, some of our friends are in Palais Royale, if you know that band, uh, were in town and I met them through Ash and Chris and Ash and Chris were like, you have to meet our bandmates, you know, come over, let's hang out. So we went over to the Gokin's house, we hung out there, we met them and everything and they were kind of joking about us opening for them up at their show in Milwaukee at the Rave, which is a really big uh, famous venue, uh, supposedly haunted, you can look into that more, but really interesting. So they were kind of joking about like having us open for them, whatever, we were like, oh, that would be cool, you know? We didn't really realize how big of a venue it was either, but anyways, they ended up getting us a small like slot before they went on, on this huge stage, literally the biggest stage we've ever played. Chris was up on drum risers, like, higher taller than me i when i was standing down i could not see chris up on, on the drums and normally i always look back and i'm just like you know comfort kind of person to look back at see chris holding on the floor back there and everything but i could not see chris at all up on these drum risers but it was really cool it was a super fun show it was really cool playing for them because they have such dedicated and supportive fans that all came out and were really supportive of us and everything um, and they do like these meet and greets before their show and have little fan gifts and everything. And they had some extras. And Olivia, who's a photographer who's on tour with them, she was also, I think, working with the meet and greet or something, or she just had the extra stuff from the meet and greet and she gave us these sunglasses anyways. They were part of like the fan gift. So uh, they have like a cool story and always remind me of that night and they're really really cute too i like the pointiness of them like okay these were sent to me in like a little pr package from this small uh new york based brand called girl of the earth they make some really cool clothes uh, mostly out of vintage fabrics too, which I think is cool. But she also sent just these vintage sunglasses along. I don't think that they sell vintage, but they were just like a little extra something something that she sent along. And I think that they're super cool. Like look at how chic this is. Honestly, nobody can tell me anything when I'm wearing these sunglasses. I feel like I'm in the Matrix or something. I've never seen that movie, but... <laughs> that's what I feel like and they're so cool I also like that you can't really see my eyes behind them am I looking at you am I sleeping you'll never know you'll never never know 
so these are cool okay these are so sweet and so special because my friend Lie made these um, and she sells these I do believe and she gave them for my birthday two years ago when I was in Nashville um, look at how cute they are like these are super duper cool little sunglasses that she embellishes and puts crystals on just think that they're super cool and she is a super cool person too she like does fire dancing and burlesque and she's just really really dope so shout out to her i absolutely love these her name on instagram is the wayward pixie okay we're really getting down to it so these ones were given to me by someone at a meet and greet in new york so shout out little like kiss kind of lip sunglasses and they're so fun these are andrew's sunglasses he doesn't wear them a lot because he thinks that they're kind of flashy but look at how cool this is i feel like a retro futuristic robot or alien or something like that these are so cool. I got these off of eBay. This kind of like turquoise. It looks cool with the short hair too. Like I actually really, really like it. And before with my long hair, I liked the sunglasses, but I didn't like how they looked on me. With the short hair though, this is kind of a vibe. Kind of a greenish, bluish tint to it. These were given to me this year for my birthday from my bandmate Chris Luck and look at how cool the sides are. First of all, the tortoise shell is sick. Second of all, this little metal piece, so cool. Like the tiny little details really kill me. And this, like the, the, the details, okay, the details. And then on, I love it. They're so cool. These ones, oh my gosh, I'm glad I saved these for almost last, like one of the last. Um, these are so cool. I got these off of eBay. They're vintage, 60s. First of all, the like tiny little hearts on the ends are so cute. And they're green. Ooh, they're very, very green. But to be fair, you can't really look through them so much. They're more just like an accessory. And this gives me Rubber Soul vibes, which is my favorite Beatles album. So yeah, you, could, you don't really see through them too much. So the fact that they're super duper dark green and make everything super duper dark green does not bother me because I'm not wearing them like up here where I'm actually looking through them. I'm just wearing them on the bridge of my nose and they're just sitting there as an accessory, you know? But then another cool thing about these is they came with this. Ooh, so futuristic. It makes it even darker. And then it goes all across the nose. Like, that's cool. I honestly never wear this guard thing over it, but it's fun that it came with it and it looks even more retro futuristic with the guard down. These are another pair that I got from a sunglass sponsorship that I was doing. Um, some classic, these are Calvin Klein. These look so classic 60s, I had to get these. Also Kurt Cobain vibes, but I love these sunglasses so, so much. Very mod. Just a nice kind of staple too. I'm trying to decide which pair for it lasts. Um, these last two are super duper cool. I'm just gonna pick a random one. These, these are so cool. So this company Magic Society sent me these and I was on TikTok just scrolling through and I saw one of their videos and was taken back by how cool their clothes are. Went followed them, went on Instagram, saw that they were following me, followed them back, and was just liking their posts and commenting on them and everything. And then they messaged me and asked if they could send me some sunglasses. And I was like, absolutely, because I was dying over these on their Instagram page. They're so cool. They're very like editorial 60s. They're so cool. I've never seen anything like this before. Like I can imagine Twiggy doing, or like Penelope Tree, maybe more just because she does more of like the avant-garde kind of 
um, out there fashion. Or like Peggy Moffat, I could picture mostly Penelope Tree or Peggy um, doing something super cool with these sunglasses. That's the vibe it's giving me. I am obsessed with them. This was the last thing that I thrifted at my amazing thrift store before we moved into this house. So it was a good kind of farewell send off, I feel like. Um, these amazing 1980s sparkly sunglasses. I love 80s does 50s. Super extra, kind of how like 90s does 60s and 70s. It's just extra funky, a little more fun, pushing the boundaries a little bit more. It's just like taking the ideas of that time that they're kind of replicating and taking inspiration from and then blowing it up and making it even bigger. I feel like these are super cool alien sunglasses. I'm obsessed with them. The silver, the glitter, the shape. Yeah, these are so sick. These are coming on tour as well because they're just like total rock star sunglasses and I love them. Hope that you enjoyed this little video. I hope that it was fun looking through and then kind of hearing some of the stories behind them. And I hope that this gives you some ideas of some places to look for some sunglasses too if you were looking for like a certain style or something. I'm sending you all lots and lots of love. I don't know if this video is going to go up first or the hair video. If I put the hair video up first, when you're watching this, I'm probably on tour, so... So I hope to see you all out and about while we're traveling around. If you don't know the dates that we're hitting, we're going to Urbana, Illinois first on the 28th of April, then the 29th we play St. Louis, and that show is all ages. I know a lot of our shows are 18 and up or all ages, so just like look into that. It was a nice surprise for us to see that not everything was 21 and up. We do St. Louis, we go to Nashville, Atlanta, Georgia, and we play a show there. Then we play Charlotte, North Carolina at Snug Harbor. After that, we go up to Philadelphia, we play Kung Fu Necktie. Then we have two nights in New York City that we're playing. The first night, Friday, May 5th, we're playing at Our Wicked Lady on the rooftop. Um, and then the second night in New York City on Saturday, we are playing at TVI. So make sure to come out if you're in those areas. Lastly, we're hitting Cleveland. Um, and we're playing Coda there, and that's our last stop on tour. So I'm really, really hoping to see some of you while we're out there. And I'm trying to get these videos filmed and edited so that I can have something to post even while I'm away and doing that kind of work. But I'm sending you all lots of love. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for giving suggestions for videos. I do read all of your comments and I love reading them. I love hearing from you all. Hope you're having a marvelous, wonderful day and I'll catch you in the next one.